so when do you ever get me making a video one day and then another one the next day but I just wanted to address something um, because somebody made a comment on my blog and and it kind of just spurred something in me and because um, I was talking about being so cold yesterday and my hair falling out and she immediately went to you know it it is absolutely your thyroid and it brought me to the fact of how doctors even do that to us like just because we have a thyroid issue no matter what we're feeling if even autoimmune no matter what we're feeling that's the problem and they don't investigate anything else and one thing that I do and you'll notice through all of my videos is that I investigate and I do research and I talk to other people and I consult my physicians as well and I um, I know that um, if you're um, subclinical if you suffer from hypo and sometimes hyper that your hair will thin and that you will feel very cold but I had kind of alleviated those problems and then I kind of stepped out of my um, boundary I was eating foods that I wasn't supposed to eat because I am on no meds and I treat myself holistically right now under my doctor's care and I knew the coldness definitely came because I had eaten off of my plan for a few days. I wasn't taking my vitamins and my minerals and I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. And I mean, I got colder than I had ever been before. And actually, to be real honest, um, I've started taking zinc because I told you yesterday that my doctor suggested selenium for my hair and that didn't work and then I tried a uh, mixture of the vitamin E I think and iron vitamin C and iron which was suggested by another physician with hypothyroidism and that didn't work and it isn't like I just decided because my hair was thinning that it wasn't my hypothyroidism I've already kind of investigated those situations and that doesn't mean that if your hair is thinning or if you're feeling cold it isn't that but I can tell you that for me I'm starting to look at other avenues because of the fact that all the things that pointed to the hypothyroidism it just isn't working so um, you know I don't want to slam the person who wrote in because I'm very sure that they meant you know well but I also wanted to address it for everybody else who's out there listening that just because we have a situation doesn't mean that everything we go through we can blame it on um, you know whimsically it, it reminds me of you know when a woman's going through menopause and if she happens to have an ache or a pain or she's grumpy or she's sad everything is just pointed back to well that's because and it's not always the situation and we can't just because we have a diagnosis we cannot look at everything that we go through as if that is the cause of it because you know what we might be wrong and you know what I just wanted to address that I wanted to say it instead of write it it became sort of a little passion in me I was sitting in class today and I was kind of like um you know what I need to do a real quick video on this and address it so I just wanted to let everybody know you know because I know you all read the comments and then you all write to me on the side and you don't write to me in the comment space of what you think and um, I just wanted to address it and make sure that everybody understood um, again I have tried all the things that my doctor has told me to do my levels have pretty much all evened out from eating holistically doing intermittent fasting and um, you know then I kind of blew it probably for a good week prior and then the last couple days like I said from work I'm in sitting in classes and yesterday yeah it was really cold so yesterday and today I've gone back to my plan and my eating and being more regimented about it and I feel a lot better so I'm moving on and I'm actually trying zinc now and I'm actually seeing a little bit of a result from it but I didn't want to say anything about that because um, you know my DNA is different from yours and your DNA is different from the next person and you're gonna to have to experiment especially if you're doing it holistically because what works for me may not work for you um, who knows you know I mean what works selenium may work for some people but um, for me it didn't work you know and I've tried it for about a month and they usually say it takes about like three or four weeks to start kicking in you know taking the holistic course is not the easy path it's not the fast path um, if my doctor would 
prescribe a medicine for me, I'm sure like bam, you know, everything would uh, probably be a little bit better, or maybe a lot better, but that isn't the course I want to go. I want to be healthy and I want to be strong and I want my body to heal itself and I'm not gonna be ignorant about it and if it comes to a point where I need to take a prescription then that's what's gonna happen but for right now where I'm at under a doctor's care I found a physician who um, entreats my ideas and thoughts which is exciting for me I'm gonna do it this way and so I just wanted to address that with everybody I don't want to step on any toes I don't want to call anybody out I just wanted to address it for everybody else that um, you know is out there reading my blog and listening to my journey like I said I'm not a doctor and I don't play one and I'm not going to tell you absolutes I'm gonna tell you what works for me so if you have a symptom I'm not going to point a finger at you and say oh well that's your thyroid oh yeah that's your thyroid too oh yeah that is your thyroid too because it just may not be the case you know the thyroid and the whole autoimmune thing really deals with your gut and when you get your gut in order then you're going to start seeing a lot of other things fall in place now i've also just recently finished a um, parasite seminar and i haven't talked about this yet either and basically you know we want to remove the parasites but then there's some doctors who feel that if once you remove them if you kill the parasites who a lot of them hold toxins in their body you may be doing yourself more harm than good because when they die they're gonna release those toxins of course into your body and here we go again so there's a whole lot more research I have to do on that and a whole little bit more of understanding before I start jumping on the get rid of the parasite bandwagon um, so I gotta get back into my class and I will talk to you guys later have a great day Bye.